welcome back to the Goddess Exchange YouTube. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Akasha, and I am a clairaudient, clairvoyant, intuitive. And today I'm going to be shuffling the tarot and the oracle cards. Um, if this is not your first time joining, welcome back. Um, and thanks for tuning in today. Okay, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm excited to see what spirit has to say. Usually I have like some type of jumping off point, but I don't have that. So I'm I'm excited to see what what the lick read. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the vibe is like. Um let's jump right into it. Most high God, thank you so much for this time and this space. I thank you for the person that is watching. Um Allow me to deliver the messages with confidence and clarity. I call in discernment, um, protection, and clarity for the person watching. Help them to resonate with what messages are and aren't for them. Please speak to me. Speak through me. Thank you for making this sound. All right, welcome to eclipse season. Welcome to Scorpio season. Um, this energy is really intense. It's um, it's a dive into the unknown. It's a dive into darkness. Um, it's the rediscovery of personal power and inner personal strength and restraint. Um, it's reaching into the darkness to grab hold of the light that you maybe are or aren't so sure is on the other side. Like Scorpio is the deep dive into the water. Um, so the energy, it feels a little intense um, right now in the collective. I don't know. I feel like this may be a love reading. I don't know. Let's see. Um, a lot of you may be moving soon. If you've been planning on moving, and this would be like far away. Not just like leaving your hometown, but this would be like a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. Um... And I feel like it's something like your spirit leading you for a move. Um, and it's something that you feel like is happening maybe a little too slow. Or maybe things have been speeding up here in the last like week or so, in the last month or so. Um, but everything is happening in divine time. Yeah, every like anything that you may have had to tie up um or that was left undone like a contract undone or a lease or whatever it is maybe like some small legality that was left undone or left um <clears throat> like unresolved that's getting ready to um commence or to resume and you'll be able to um to see some movement soon. So this is Libra energy. Yeah. This I'm feeling um Libra energy. <laughs> I'm hearing someone here. I'm I'm hearing someone say, um, "I'm mad at myself because I can't leave you alone." Um, this could be someone in a relationship. 
that feels constantly breadcrumb. Like someone who, like when you are with this person, this masculine, you, like your boundaries kind of, <laughs> you kind of like push the boundaries maybe to the back a little bit. Um, the spirit, this is spirit telling you not to water it down. You can't water yourself down to meet whoever this is where they are. You have to be focusing on connections that are already on your level that are going to elevate you. So this is like you holding your boundaries and not people pleasing, not conforming um, because of because of whatever. Um, I don't know why you do why you do it. You know why you do it. But this is you holding your boundaries. And because I feel like you tend to meet people where they are and then mirror back their personality to them. Or you have a tendency to get into relationships, um, romantic and platonic, where you allow people to just like absorb the best and worst parts of you. And then they just give you back your own personality. Like, so if you're a leader, you're a leader, you need to be around other leaders. If you're a baddie, you need to be around other baddies. If you are whatever you are, um, and you're a leader, like, not only a spiritual leader, but just you have leader energy. So you need to be around other leaders and not people who are always looking to you for um, instruction or looking to you really to tell them what to do to lead them spirit wants you to be around other leaders yeah so that you are able to build soul connections there is a lot of um like solar energy here like being connected at the soul or disconnecting from something at the at the soul level so if it's a relationship that isn't serving you, it's something that you need to disconnect at a soul level and not just something that you tell your ego um, whenever your ego is bruised or whenever your feelings are hurt or whatever the case is. Um, this would be something that you would need to disconnect on a deeper level. Like what is your soul calling you to do? Um, like is your soul, and I hope you guys cannot hear this. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like, is your soul at rest? Or the butterflies you think are in your stomach, is that really like your gut telling you that this is not it? Like, this is not it for you. Yeah, it feels like someone in a relationship be, being breadcrumbed, like, constantly and gaslighted. Um... Yeah, breadcrumbed, gaslighted. So if this is someone that you aren't talking to anymore, if they are coming back in, make them date you. Even if it's someone that you dated, sorry y'all, my arm is hurting. Even if it's someone that you dated before and they want to come back in, you make them date you again, Divine Feminine. You make Divine Masculine date you again or make him date you make him earn you because i mean if you guys are fully surrendered to the intensity and to the truth of the connection then there should be no room for um divine masculine divine feminine's ego so there's there there shouldn't be any fear right make him date you make divine masculine date you Yeah, because you literally aren't even the same person anymore. You aren't the person that you were before. Like, <laughs> I'm hearing, um, gonna have to teach you how to love you again. Or gonna have to teach me how to love you again. Like, you're gonna have to teach Divine Masculine how to love you. 
So again, that's you holding your boundaries and making Divine Masculine date you. And you operating from your heart space. Like, um, not operating based in fear. Yeah. Okay, any other? Actually, I'm going to put that back because that's the same card. All right, Spirit. Any more messages? Okay, so this is Divine Feminine Energy. Yeah, Divine Feminine Energy is um, raising in vibration. The Divine Feminine is um, raising her vibration. And this is spirit putting emphasis on you trusting yourself and you trusting you can have heavy um cancer placements or you could be a cancer but this is you trusting yourself um yeah so we have the share your voice card and it's a share your voice come out of the cave expression so this is you not only being able to trust like the energy that you feel or trust the that your intuition or being able to be guided by your intuition but this is also you like sharing that like sharing parts of yourself with people whether that be like humanity or the collective on a larger scale or intimately in your relationships or your friendships but this is you showing up authentically in as everything or in with everything that you have to give um i feel like you hold parts of yourself back because for fear um obviously for fear reasons but just because sometimes You don't, and this is the same energy that was coming through earlier today with my water sign readings, but I feel like you don't really give yourself credit for who you are and how it is that people value you. So you probably stay silent a lot of the times when, like in school, you probably were the person who knew the answer, but waited for someone else to answer first. And then you got the confidence to like raise your hand or you're someone who like you were the you're the friend that people can come to and talk to you're the person that people look to for wisdom but i think because you like downplay your gifts and your talents and abilities sometimes it causes you to not even trust yourself so this is spirit like emphasizing that you are the oracle like I want you to trust, um, trust in who you are, trust that I'm inside of you and trust the way, like let people give you their, your flowers. I'm going to give yourself flowers continuously and trust that like you're valued and needed and like the way that you show up for people, no one else could do that but you. And that's what spirit is emphasizing. Spirit, any last messages? I'm going to pull from this deck. So something about you and destiny Maybe you feel that you're destined to be alone, or maybe you've been feeling alone, like during this whole, 
on a healing journey, you're going to feel alone, but you could probably, um, you probably have been feeling like more alone, especially if spirit has been like putting you into isolation and especially if like the people that you're around, the people that you were around, family, friends, romantic connections, just don't, they just don't relate to you anymore. You just don't relate to them. Um, it could have you like wanting to give up and feeling like maybe I'm the one that's wrong or maybe I'm the one that, you know, maybe I'm tripping or maybe I should just, you know, fall in line with, you know, what the people around me are doing because this feels very lonely. Like this feels like somebody who's just lonely, like in search of their or for their divine counterpart divine counterpart hasn't showed up um and you're like questioning is this for me whatever this is yeah you could be facing a lot of adversity um dark night of the soul some of you may be going through um your saturn return so that's going to be anytime you're going through a saturn return that's going to saturn shows us or Saturn shows you where in your life um, you're willing to discipline yourself and work hard and be committed. So it's going to show you where you feel your restrictions are um, because Saturn honors commitment. So a lot of you could be just going through like thing after thing or, um, you know, like every time you turn around, it feels like a new test. Um, but that won't last long or it won't last too much longer um, with the freedom card here I feel like things are getting ready to really change especially with this this is the energy of Scorpio um, Saturn but also Scorpio like this is like being rebirthed by light so reaching into the darkness to grab hold of light or going through like the only way out of whatever is through it. So this feels like staying the course um, to get to freedom or to be in a place where you feel that you can move. Yeah. So like restriction, being restricted by feeling restricted by Saturn's energy um, but moving past that, like showing up in a different way in whatever it is that you're working towards or wherever it is that life has you, like being willing to commit to that like commit to the person or the connection or just making a commitment to yourself and being disciplined and, um, consistent. Yeah. Okay, um, so a lot of you may be having some revelations now. Um, a lot of you, especially if you are like at odds with something or someone, <clears throat> a lot of you are going to be having some really empathetic feelings like, okay, I see where you're coming from okay, well, this is where I'm coming from and this is where I'm honestly coming from. Um, and being able to communicate without the need for judgment, being able to communicate without um, without the emotional aspect, being able to communicate clearly and with clarity and without the rage. So if you have been on outs with somebody or in the outs or on the outs i don't know if you if you have been on the outs with someone um i feel that someone's going to be having a revelation and whether it's you with the revelation or the other person the other person is going to be able to be more receptive and um understanding 
just be sure that you communicate with honesty. Yeah. So it feels like someone in a relationship um, or just it could just be someone that you really love. Um, maybe you guys haven't talked in a while. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of love here and there'll be um, there's going to be a lot of supportive energy like receptivity. I feel the other person will be very receptive as long as there's honesty and accountability um, and as long as both parties are operating from love. And I feel that you will be. Yeah, whatever it is that you guys were fighting over um, is dead. That's over. Like, I, I see you guys saying, like, that's dead. Like, that's water under the bridge. That's, like, releasing the fear that comes from, like, holding on to stuff and being in survival mode um, and not being able to trust and love and communicate openly and clearly. Whatever it is that you guys were, um, whatever whatever y'all fell out about or um, whatever was said is going to be, I feel like you guys are going to be able to, to let it go and to move on. Okay, Spirit. What messages, what other messages do you have for the collective? Okay, so I'm feeling um, solar plexus energy. So a lot of you maybe getting your Yanni steam on. Um, just really taking care of you. Yeah. Building up your self-esteem of growing. Um, releasing the need to blame. Taking accountability. A lot of you have probably um, gotten a new job or just gotten a promotion. If this message resonates with you or you're about to come into just new success. So whatever success is to you, um, you're about to have some of it. Yeah, because I feel like it's like a new, like a new job or a new gig. Like with your new growth, your new look, your new self-esteem, um, your new emotional growth. Um, because I feel like you have realized that you don't want to blame anyone. You don't want to judge anyone. You don't want to hurt anyone. You just want to, you just want to vibe. <laughs> you like, um, you be staying low, but you know what the vibes is. Like this is emotional growth. Um, and because of it, you found new opportunities, new success, um, new friendships, and you've discovered just a new personal power that you didn't know well, you knew you had it, but you forgot about it. <laughs> you are an ascended master with amnesia. Yeah. And you came here and you agreed to forget who you were, but you've been reawakening. Okay. So I feel like there is a relationship that has been giving you pause. Give me more on envy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so someone that you don't trust. <laughs> like a relationship that has been giving you pause. Um... It's been giving you pause, but you're not quite sure um, whether or not, like, are you jealous of me? Are you, in <coughs> excuse me, hold on. Like, are you jealous of me? Are you envious of me? I feel like those are the questions that you are asking. And you've been pausing. The reason why it's giving you pause is because you love them so much. And you couldn't imagine that they would not have the best intentions for you. 
And they got too much pride to even admit like their true intentions or if it was something that they did to hurt you they have too much pride to admit like the reason why they did it when they could really just say okay i was stupid or or i was i was hurting or i was whatever they have too much pride to even admit that and you have too much that you're holding on to like you're just grateful like, to have them like you love them so much and you're afraid you don't want things to change because you see where they're coming from and um you let them like place the blame onto you which is why they cause you to doubt yourself um yeah this is a relationship that you can't imagine yourself being with anybody else um i feel like it could have been damaging to your self-esteem and you don't, it's like, I, you don't know what to do. Um, should I stay? Should I go? Um, I'm in too deep. <laughs> I can't get out. Spirit, what, what do they need to do? Okay. We got change, gratitude, and indecision. Well, um, you can't focus on the good. We got gratitude in the reverse, the indecision card and change. You can't focus on the love that you have for them is like blocking like what spirit is trying to tell you. Like you could be a person who is always asking for signs. Like you've been praying to God, send me a sign if this person is not for me. But the way they treat you is the sign. <laughs> And your guides are like, I've been sending you signs. You've been ignoring the signs because you love them so much. And you're just, just great. You're just happy to have them. Um, you could be someone who had a difficult child life growing up. Or um, someone who has a difficult family tie. Like family ties. Your family ties um, more than likely aren't secure and stable you don't feel like you have a true place like in your family of origin um so you're just grateful for connections that allow you to be seen or to feel seen and spirits like yeah i've been tr i've been showing you but you've been in denial because you don't want to see it um with this type of connection you have to this 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 is a soul tie um, so you're going to have to call your energy back um, on a cellular cellular level and on a soul level. Yeah, but you can't let like the little good that someone does um, keep you falsely emotionally attached. And that's this is literally the energy of Scorpio season. <laughs> This is literally what Scorpio season is about. Okay. Any last messages, Spirit? Any last messages? Okay, so the energy of fear. Um, and this could be career-based. Um, yeah, I feel like this is probably career-based. Someone could be um, applying for a job or starting something new. Starting... Um, starting some type of service-based business yeah and it could be challenging uh, maybe you've had to like switch gears a couple times or maybe you started like several businesses and you're just like 
okay, I'm sick of this. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to start over. I can't really find my thing. But spirit is encouraging you to just persevere and to um, rest if you have to, but remember like why you're doing this. Like, and it's not about the money. Um, it's not about the accolades or whatever. It's about service. Like we're all here to serve the divine um, in whatever way that we can. So <clears throat> the fear is literally just your ego keeping you or trying to keep you um, in those old in the old story in the same old dramas but this is this is like spirit it just encouraging you to persevere to keep going rest if you have to but ultimately remember why remember the why okay any last messages okay spirits like release the need to know all the answers like this is what scorpio season is about um a deep dive into what's unknown yeah and regret like you could spend time crying over the spoiled milk or you could clean it up like that's the energy that i'm getting here um like i'm i'm seeing the energy like of a list of regrets like i'm hearing with my long list of regrets like i have so many regrets um a lot of things yeah i'm just i'm just, i'm feeling like there are so many things that you just regret and it causes you to doubt the success of anything else like anything moving forward um you got to forgive yourself for the times where you let yourself down because like just we let ourselves down sometimes like yeah you let yourself down but that's okay um because the regret in the just like hating yourself and like being harsh with yourself and beating up on yourself. Like who does that serve? It doesn't serve you. And it makes you unpleasant. <laughs> it makes you very, very unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. This is spirit. Um, like these are your spirit guides. Um, with a kind of or what feels like a restorative energy um yeah we got worry and gratitude yeah this feels like your spirit guides surrounding you with what's essentially love like um love and like a softness, like comfort. Like I literally like feel them comforting you because you've been so hard on yourself. Um, I feel like you take every little thing and like add it to your list of regrets. Like every, every, every single time you, like you're not patient with yourself at all. Like every single time you feel like you fail or you mess up and you don't get it right yet. Literally death and fear. Like every single time you fail, you don't get it right. Um, every time you fall, you can be really harsh. You may be someone who um, were invalidated constantly as a child. So you you let people invalidate your feelings now and you invalidate your own feelings. Yeah. But spirits like there's so much that I have to give you. There's so much that I'm giving you. Um, it's going to start with you loving you enough to forgive you. Like treat yourself like someone you love because that's the way that I see you. That's the way that I view you. Um, and it's going to take you Spirit is saying it's going to take you to, to start to treat yourself this way. To start to love yourself enough to forgive yourself. And to just 
say fuck it. <laughs> Start over. Um, you're gonna fail. You're gonna mess up. You're not gonna get it right. That's 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 what it is. That's life. None of us get out alive. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, I can't talk. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's really late. It's two thirty-five. Um. I hope that this reading resonated with some part of you. As always, I am wishing you blessings of peace, prosperity, love, ascension, and intention. Until next time.